Thank you for respecting that and not asking me anymore. See, here's the thing. Thank you I, I for don't, respecting I that. I don't respect and not that. Asking I don't me. respect that. And, and I'm gonna ask you some more. But later. All right, you go on and be with the girls. I'll be here. Thank you. All right, sisters fans. So Danny has not changed whatsoever. In last night's episode, not only did she decide to go out with Q for drinks for uh, what at like a restaurant right up the street from the airport, but she then gets home pretty much as dismissive to Preston. Well, to be somewhat fair, she was in a bit of a hurry because she does have to meet with the girl. So I will give her that. But when he actually brings up a very serious topic of you hit someone with your car and you're not going to talk about that and you got hit and you're not going to talk about it. And Danny pretty much is dismissive about it. Somebody during the live is, you know, Danny can talk about this person, that person, call him out. But when she needs to talk with somebody, she's not really, you know, about herself. She's like passive and deflects and whatnot. Yeah, but that could be said for all the women. But my problem is this. Danny agreed to go out with another man for drinks knowing she has a man waiting for her at her apartment. A man that she asked to stay. This just further solidifies the point that Preston is nothing more than a house sitter slash bodyguard. Because Danny is nervous of Jonah coming back and she doesn't want to be there alone. That's all it is. That's all it is. And then she has the nerve... She's literally treating Preston the same way she did in season three. She would get home from work. He would be waiting for her. She barely wants to talk to him because she's going out, hang out with the girls or, you know, to go do something else. So he's pretty much just there set dressing. And then in the next episode, this fool going to say, I want to marry you. And it's like, what the hell, man? I mean, hell, I think that's what makes it worse because of the fact that Danny saw the engagement ring in Preston's pocket, but then agrees to, you know, take a few hits of a pen and go take drink, get drinks with another guy. Danny has not changed. Now, but Jeremy, Danny did tell Preston, you know, one day I want you, the next day I want to be alone. And yeah, that's fair. But at the same time, it's not a good reflection of her character. And this just goes back to what I said before um, after the Jonah situation of how I don't feel sorry for Danny because she puts herself she puts herself in this situation or these kind of situations. Mind you, with the Q thing, she did say when Q was like, let's go back to your place. No, I learned my lesson because, you know, some of y'all niggas crazy. And yeah, it's just like, I don't feel anything for the character because she does this stuff on purpose. These women are all selfish and hypocritical. The women, they could go out, they can have sex with other men all day long. Hot girl summer, every episode. But if one of the men just looks at another woman, all of a sudden they ain't shit. They're a villain. And I don't like that. So yeah, Danny has not changed. She is not going to change. Preston deserves better. He needs to go. Go to Zatima. Just be a friend of Zach there. This, this No, this is stupid. I hate it. And then the fact that all these men are some damn simps. That's all it boils down to. It really is. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Danny is something else. She's a piece of work. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.